Good morning students. Today we will see the subjects in the third semester of BSc Nursing. The third semester the, you have four subjects. First one is Applied Microbiology and Infection Control including Safety. Second subject is Pharmacology 1 and third subject is Pathology 1. And fourth subject is Adult Health Nursing 1 with Integrated Pathophysiology. Uh, in the pharmacology and pharmacology pathology will continue in the fourth semester as pharmacology 2 and pathology 2 respectively. That is why it is given as pharmacology 1 and pathology 1. So you have four subjects applied microbiology and infection control including safety, pharmacology 1, pathology 1, adult health, medical surgical nursing with integrated pathophysiology. Then you have to, every student has to complete a mandatory module that is BCLS as part of adult health nursing. That is a, a peculiarity of third year. A mandatory module BCLS has to be completed by each and every student. Let us discuss semester 3 in detail. The first subject is applied microbiology and infection control including safety. You have two credits that is 40 hours in applied microbiology. Section A is Applied Microbiology. You have got 20 hours and 20 hours of practical hours. And uh, see the course outline is given below. You have uh, total uh, 4 units. In the first unit you will learn about the introduction. And the second unit so you will learn about the general microbial characteristics of microbes. And in the third unit you will learn about the pathogenic organisms. And in uh, fourth unit, we will uh, learn about the immunity. So these are the various recommended books for the microbiology. Uh, Ananda Narayanan, Nagoba, Balaji, Gupta, yes. You can use any other book which is prescri prescribed by your teacher also. In the section B, there is the infection control and safety. You have 20 hours of theory and 20 hours of practical. Yet the student will be able to develop knowledge and understanding of acquired hospital infection and effective practices for prevention. This infection control practices are very important in nursing practice. The course outline, you will learn about hospital acquired infection in the second unit. You will learn about isolation precautions, use of personal protective equipments. And in the third unit, you will learn about hand hygiene. In the fourth unit, you will learn about disinfection and sterilization. And in the fifth unit, you will learn about specimen collection. For seventh unit, you will learn about biomedical waste management. And in the seventh unit, you will learn about antibiotic stewardship. And in third, eighth unit, you will learn about patient safety indicators. And the ninth unit, you will learn about international patient safety goals. And in 10th unit, you will uh, learn about safety protocols. And in 11th unit, you will learn about employee safety indicators. There are various books which are recommended like Shastri, Esapurba, Jain, uh, Amita um, and the Shastri. Or you can use any other book which is prescribed by your teacher. And the second subject is the pharmacology. You have 20 credit hours in the pharmacology. And in pharmacology also, uh, there are uh, several units. Unit 1, you will uh, learn about the introduction. And the unit 2, you will learn about the common antiseptics and the disinfectants used. And the unit 3, which are drugs acting on GI system. And the unit 4, you will act, uh, learn about drugs acting on respiratory system. And in unit 5, you will learn about drugs acting on the cardiovascular system. And in the unit 6, you will act, uh, learn about drugs acting on endocrine system like that you have total uh, eight unit eight units are there and uh, you can use any uh, book prescribed by your teacher and but in the syllabus uh, these are the books given and for pathology you have 20 you have 20 hours that is one credit hour that is also a very important subject you have uh, the first unit or introduction and in the second unit you learn about the pathological changes in diseases in various pathology in various systems and in the third unit you will learn about the hematological tests which are used for the blood disorders so these are mainly uh, three units are uh, there in the third semester you can use any of these books listed down Ram Das Naik, Mandaleke, Vinay Kumar, Suresh K. Sharma and the fourth subject is the adult health nursing that has got 140 hours that is seven credits and here you learn about the in, in the first unit you learn about the introduction about the adult health nursing in the second unit that is intraoperative care the OT techniques that OT um, procedures uh, all those things you learn 
in the second unit in the third unit you will learn about uh, nursing care of patients common signs and symptoms and in the fifth unit uh, disorders of digestive system and in the seventh sixth unit cardiovascular problems like the various systems you will learn in the first third semester of uh, bsc nursing uh, uh, you have uh, several books levis uh, smelser black and joyce lemon ignebili pin code any book which uh, can be prescribed by a teacher can be used for uh, studies practical is also important for adult nursing there are 18 weeks of uh, clinical uh, posting that, that equals to for 80 hours in the third semester so you will have pay, uh, postings in various areas like general medical uh, wards and uh, in surgical areas general surgical wards and you will also uh, will have postings in cardiology wards you will have posting in dermatology wards isolation wards orthopedic wards and in, it's definitely in operation uh, theater because you are studying operation um, OT techniques in the third semester. So these are the various postings you have to do. And there is one mandatory model which each student should complete that is BCLS modules. It's supposed to be completed by each and every student. Discuss about the examination pattern also. Uh, for applied microbiology infection control including safety it, that will be conducted as a single paper your internal marks will be for 25 marks and for university you will have a three hour examination uh, and 75 marks both subjects together and the second paper will be on adult health nursing internal marks uh, that that means that uh, in your teacher will be conducting a periodic test in the classrooms and internal uh, average uh, will be taken uh, that will uh, be in 25 marks out of 25 marks you will be given uh, internal marks and in the end of semester examination uh, three hour uh, paper you have to write that is set for 75 marks and also adult health nursing practical will also be there for that practical 50 marks internal and um, 50 marks external uh, practical examination uh, will be there but this internal marks of pharmacology and pathology and genetics in the third semester will be added to pharmacology 2 and pathology 2 and genetics in the fourth semester. So pharmacology uh, examination is not there in the second uh, third semester. Uh, pharmacology and pathology you will have pathology 2 and pathology pharmacology 2 in the fourth semester. So uh, that uh, exam will be towards the fourth semester only so that the third semester the whole examination pattern and the syllabus is clear to you if you are watching the channel for the first time please sub subscribe the channel and like the video and share the video and comment thank you for watching